My intuition tells me that something very interesting is about to happen. I agree, Ajo. Yes, with our events, our past events now watched, it is time for us to head into the land of the Dendro Archon to gain an audience with the lesser Lord Kusanali, who is, well, presumably Nahida, but uh, I guess we'll see for sure once we get there, eventually. I wonder how easy it is to just seek an audience with an Archon, though. Can't imagine that's easy anywhere. Oh, mushroom. Star shrooms here? Hmm. Continue to investigate through the forest. Sumeru really is a lovely environment. <laughs> oh, it's daytime. Now that we made it to Sumeru, our next objective should be to head to Sumeru City and find a way to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. It's a bit mean to call her Lesser just because she's so short. Paimon. And speaking of Lesser Lord Kusanali, <laughs> even though we haven't heard too much about her, she doesn't seem to be the same deity who abducted your brother. That I am 100% confident on, I think. But even so, people call Sumero the Nation of Wisdom, you know. If we can get a chance to meet the God of Wisdom, maybe she can give us some useful information. You know, Paimon, you're actually making some sense there. Yeah. A God of Wisdom should give us some good advice about, you know, next steps forward. But yeah, sounds like a plan. But, uh, Paimon doesn't know the way to Sumeru City. Yeah. Maybe we can climb up to that spot with the Statue of the Seven on it. That'll give us a way better view of things. Let's pretend we don't know where Sumeru Even City is, yeah. Even if we can't see exactly where the city is, at least we'll be able to check for some smaller settlements nearby. Sounds good, Paimon. Yeah, this is our... First. Oh, hey. Wait a second. A scholar? Look, there's someone up ahead. Yeah, we'll pretend this is our first uh, time ever stepping foot here. You, uh, you remind me of Beiju. Now we can just ask Mostly for directions because of the green hair. wander around like lost adventurers. <laughs> but Paimon, we are lost adventurers. Hey there. <laughs> We're not from around here and seem to have gotten a uh, little lost. We'd like to ask for some directions. You you okay? They, they, they just walked by Paimon. Huh? Uh, did they not hear Paimon? Hey! You over there! Could you give us some directions? Hello! Huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, no. Oh, bye-bye. What's going on here? There's no way she could have missed that. Yeah. Oh, wait! Could she be ignoring us? <laughs> No, I, I I don't think it's quite that, Paimon. I don't know, the way she said, huh? Made it sound like she was almost, I don't know, uh, like she had a fog, you know, the, the, the sort of foggy-minded, uh, like after you've just woken up kind of deal. You know, or maybe there's a reason she ignored us. Calm down, it's probably nothing to get worked up about. Hmm. Well, even so... She might be heading someplace where we could find other people to ask. Let's keep our distance and follow her. No, okay. When we get the chance, you don't wanna, we'll just ask someone else for directions. You don't want to head up there to the top of that peak anymore? I kind of want to use the, uh, the anchor ability. What was Come that on, called? Let's follow her. Just keep quiet. Make sure she doesn't notice us. Why? She's, she's ignoring us. Uh, through mists of smoke and forests dark. Okay. Um. Where is she? Oh, right over here. Oh, was it just directing me to the next anchor? Where did she go? Oh, there she is. Oh, she's right there. Let's go take a closer look. No, Paimon, she didn't vanish. She walked into that cave. Which actually this cave might lead, lead into... A village or something. But, uh, 
It looks like that's not the case. And I feel like this should lead back in the direction of the chasm. I not actually quite reach there, but... Look, she's sitting over there. Oh, yeah. Wait, she couldn't possibly be living here, could she? I suppose she could be a hermit of some sort. Uh, what should we do now? Do we try asking her for directions again? Yeah, why not? Well, at least talk, trying to talk to her should give us a little more information about whether she was just ignoring us or something more sinister is going on. All right, then. It's not like we have anyone else we can ask. Even if she's not very friendly, we just need her to point us in the right direction. That's all. Oh. Mmm. What a lovely mm. smell. Some... Sumeru cuisine, perhaps? It's coming from that sensor over there. This is definitely not your typical place to call home, but at least it smells nice. Oh, just mm. incense. Maybe An incense burner. Maybe wouldn't be too bad after all. <laughs> well, if you like nature, absolutely. Uh, oh, what? What? Something happening, Alice. Uh, uh, oh. Huh? What's the matter? It's not affecting Paimon. You don't look too good. It's because it's affecting the brain and... Therefore, it wouldn't have any effect on Paimon. The smell, it's... Something's not right. What? Drugs? Is the smell making you feel sick? Strange. Paimon doesn't feel anything. Huh. I've got to get out of here. I think I'm gonna pass out. Oh, shit. Oh, well, that's, uh... That's not good. Well, I think we might know why they seemed to be out of it. Well, maybe not. But, uh, incense is definitely not good for us. Whoa. Forceful change, follow the voice. Have That is quite the tree. Wait, is this the, uh... Is this the same tree that... We stumbled upon. It looks quite different, though. Far more mysterious. But there was a tree that was deep in the middle of the desert. Yeah, no, this is this is different, though. There's the fog, uh, the mist beneath. Oh wow! Okay, this is kind of cool. I mean, we just passed. Oh no! Oh yeah, no gravity. Well, clearly there is some gravity. Those rocks are. Uh. Okay then. Continue following the voice. We had. Is it the the light that we're heading towards? Um, but yeah, no, this is a world of, at least we're visiting here in our dreams, I guess. Beautiful tree. Like, jeez. Now, wind? World forget me. Hmm. I mean, that's gotta have something to do with the Archon, right? Are you sure it's not serious? The traveler has been out for a long time now. I mean, I won't go so far as to say it's not serious, but uh, I'm sure it's uh, safe. Yes, you can relax. Believe me, Wait, the is master that? is extremely knowledgeable. If he says that she's going hey. to be alright, then there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Kole! Good to see you. And Master was Tainari, right? Oh, are you awake now? Yes, I am. Oh, thank goodness! Traveler, you're <laughs> finally awake! Hey there, Paimon. Apparently Kole was fine. 
with the incense and stuff. Where am I? Well, we're at. Uh, good question. Uh -huh. Where are we? Hi, she was a ranger, right? When you passed out, that she even forgot to ask what place this is. This is Gandarverville. Oh, yeah. It was originally yeah. built by scholars from Sumeru as a place to rest in the rainforest. Now it's mainly used by the forest rangers as a base of operations. Gandarverville. Yeah, we've been here once before. For some reason, I forget why. My name is Kale. I'm a trainee forest ranger. My master and I found you passed out during our patrol, <laughs> so we brought you here. Good to finally meet you, Kale. Thank you for your help. Oh, no, no things are necessary. I didn't do anything, really. By the way, how are you feeling now? Any discomfort? No, I seem to be fine, except this taste in my mouth is so bitter. Oh, <laughs> that's Master's herbal medicine you're tasting. He gave you some while you were unconscious. Ah, uh, well, thank you. Do you happen to know exactly what happened to me? Ah, uh, before I forget, Master mentioned you should take more medicine once you wake up. Is it more bitter? I actually like bitter stuff, though. Oh, are you okay? Was it hot or? Oh, there's Tanari. Kale, what's the matter? <laughs> Were you trying to retrieve the medicine? As I've already told you, you must be careful with these. I'll get it for you once I am finished here. Uh, so sorry, Master. What's the matter, Kale? Well, I don't get what. If she's just clumsy or. <sighs> now. Something the else. guide to Avidia Forest's edible fungi is clearly posted <laughs> on our bulletin board, but if Farbode forgets which mushrooms to avoid one more time, I'll have no choice but to leave the guide somewhere a little more visible. I love his like, ears. right smack on his forehead so others can remind him to be careful. <laughs> Damn. Right? This is the second time he's come down with food poisoning this month. I'll be sure to give him a good talking to. Yeah. Uh, foraging for wild mushrooms is dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Yes, please do. If, on the off chance, Farbode simply enjoys having little imaginary fairies dance before his eyes, then <laughs> we'll is... just let him be. <laughs> but the next time he requires eating, any uh... of our medicine, be sure to charge him accordingly. He was, uh, eating, uh, that kind of mushroom, huh? Fun. Some magical mushrooms, if you will. Hello, Tainari. So, how are you doing? Feeling better? I suppose so. Oh, this is my master, Forest Watcher Tainari. He is chief officer over all the rangers here in Gondarverville. That is quite awesome, Tainari. I already informed Paimon about the reason you fell unconscious earlier. Hmm. But now that you're awake, let me explain it for you as well. Yeah, best not to trust Paimon to relay that information. It is common practice for Sumeru scholars of certain darshans to dedicate themselves to training and meditation in isolated areas, okay. particularly the nearby forests. While meditating, they use a certain incense known as spirit borneal to help calm their minds as they enter a state of deep rumination. Hmm. Okay, so I was getting drugged then, and, uh, you know, a drug that just slows my mind. Okay. I'm not sure what uh, I'm not sure what a uh, darshan is at the moment. I'm guessing it's probably just another word for like a field of study. In hopes of asking directions, you two followed a scholar named Hapasia into her cave. Oh. The incense you smelled inside was the spirit Borneal I just mentioned. I see, and it didn't help Paimon, you know, slow her mind because there's nothing to slow, right? That incense typically has no effect on most people, but for a very select few, it can have profound effects on one's cognition, huh. as you experienced firsthand. Does that make sense? That makes perfect sense, thank you. you make me kind of curious about why it only has effect on some people, but yeah, makes sense. Very good. Now, answer me this. Did you feel anything after passing out? Say, any out-of-body experiences, or uh, did you see anything while unconscious? Y you could say that. Not sure if I should be saying that out loud, but yeah. 
describe what you say, what you saw while unconscious. Hmm. Kale, let the others know to stop bringing their patrol logs here for now. Oh? Clearly this was serious. Huh? But yeah, Why? I... Like I said, I... That feels Archon related. Because these two will be staying here for the next few days. They can have my room and I'll bunk with Amir. Now get a move on and be sure to do as I've said. You know something, Tainari. Yes, Master Tainari. Bye-bye, Kale. I'll hang out later. Uh, wait, hold on a second. Uh, can you tell us what's going on? Yeah, I think he knows something. Sure, let me fill you in. I originally planned to send you on your way once you finished your medicine. However, it appears now that you should stay a while longer in Gandarvaville for further observation while you recuperate. Hmm. And is there something about what I saw that makes you worried about me, or...? Further observation? We, s we need to get to Sumeru City. No need to be hasty. As long as you have the capacity to judge between right and wrong, I promise that you'll understand the gravity of the situation once I explain everything to you. Just so long as you're planning on explaining things, sure. Based on what you saw after smelling the incense and losing consciousness, we can conclude that you experienced a powerful hallucination, hmm. which suggests your mental state is not in the best of shape. You sure it was just a hallucination? I mean, that feels... Uh, I, I I don't believe it. Not one, not one bit. If you're skeptical, have a whiff of this. Okay. What? Oh, are you okay? Is that more of the incense? You're experiencing a similar sensation as when you passed out, aren't you? Uh, looks like it. So even though your condition is stable as of now, if I were to haphazardly let you leave, it's highly likely that you'd suddenly pass out again somewhere else. That's okay. That's fair. But what does that have to do with my vision? The rainforest is home to many fierce animals and hazardous areas. <laughs> right. If something were to happen to you again, I'm afraid you might not be so lucky. Aw, Paimon would protect me, right, Paimon? We just need to finally get you to don your battle armor. For now, I suggest you continue taking your medicine each day and avoid wandering off on your own. At least until you stop having adverse reactions to this kind of smell. Okay? All right. But I, I don't know, if you're planning on sending my, sending me on my way, even though I fell unconscious from that smell before, but not after finding out about my quote unquote hallucinations, um, I'm just curious if he knows something more or just he thinks that, okay, having hallucinations means I have an even worse reaction to this than he thought, but all right. Hmm. Good. Now, continue resting while I fire up another bowl of medicine for you. You're not going to be charging me, are you? I did hear what you were saying before. Maybe that's just because the guy was continuously <laughs> making the same mistake. Uh, seriously? We just arrived in Sumeru and we're already having problems left and right! Well, Paimon, uh, we are in a, uh, you know, a jungle, a rainforest. Um, it's, uh, it's full of dangers. Paimon knows we're set on meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali as soon as possible, but you really don't look too good. It'd probably be best to let you recover first. Yeah, though, I don't know. Why are we so sure that we could just waltz up to Sumeru City and just meet Lu Lesser Lord Kusanali, Paimon? I misremember getting something from the end of Inazuma. I might. Uh, hey! Are you even listening to Paimon? Paimon's over here worrying about you, you know! I feel it's a little weird. What's weird? You mean how you're feeling now? No, no, the hallucinations. Yeah, I don't think what I saw were hallucinations. You mean the vision of tree roots and red skies you saw? Yeah. But if those weren't hallucinations, what could they be? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. Felt like my mind was being drawn somewhere else, though. Perhaps. Like someone was trying to talk to me. 
very well might be Lesser Lord Kusanali. But, uh, I don't know. I saw the vision. I felt as if I was standing deep underground. But the red sky. Could it have been Conria? I, I doubt it. I mean... I don't know where Conria was, but I would expect ruins and not trees. Well, considering how unique you are, Paimon trusts your judgment here. But why didn't you say anything about it to Tainari? I don't know. I feel like he might know something, but... If he misjudged your condition, then there's a chance you could get worse, right? I don't... Yeah, I don't think that's the case. He probably wasn't telling us the truth. Huh? already knows that what you saw weren't hallucinations? Yeah. Like, if that's the case, Cause why would he try to hide that from us? If it was just worrying about me falling unconscious, it makes less sense that he would change his mind after learning about the hallucinations. Exactly, we need to get to the bottom of this. Oh, Paimon gets it now. That explains why you were so quiet earlier. Well, that settles it then. We'll stay here to rest up and figure out what's going on with your hallucinations. Yeah, and if we're lucky, uh, well, Tainari will come clean about what he knows. But it seems like asking Tainari might not be an option anymore. Uh, what do you think we should do? Ooh, I was just about to say that I hope while we're here, we can also hang out more with Kale. And sounds like that's a plan. Let's go have a chat with her. Good idea. Kale's pretty friendly. We can ask her tomorrow about what she knows regarding the Dendro Archon and customs in Sumeru. Mm, that's also a good idea, yeah. We should learn about local customs and do's and don'ts. Before we blunder into something actually significant. Come on, it's time to go find Kali. Hold on, Paimon, I want to take a look around. See if there's anything fun here. Book on different plants. A whole bunch of specimens. All right, all right, all right. Hello there, Comron. Any information for me? If it wasn't for the forest's alleviating effect on the disease, someone with uh, Elizar or Elizar would have never been allowed to be a forest ranger. Someone with Elizar or Eleazar. I'm I'm really not sure exactly what they're going for. Um, we'll just say Elazar for now. But someone with Elazar. What kind of condition is that? Elazar? Huh? Who are you? What are you doing here? Why are you asking about that? Because you were mumbling to yourself and I'm curious. Just passing by. Right. This is Gandarvaville. You can rest here if you're tired. Oh, well, yeah, I already have permission from Tainari. Thank you very much. Um, what I want to know is about what this condition is. If you don't want to be educated by the Forest Watchers, then take a look at the stuff on the notice board. Uh, <laughs> when you say educated in quotes like that, do you mean like, uh, are you going to kick my ass or... Forgive me, forgive me for being unable to say more. I mean, Tainari was a forest watcher, right? How many Ruka Shava mushrooms do I need to sell before I can find one? Ruka Shava. I pick Ruka Shava mushrooms every day. My waist is sore and my back aches. I'm only in my 20s. Oof. That sucks. Sounds tough. Ugh, no kidding. Picking mushrooms requires endless bending down. It gets real horrible after a while. Luckily, the Academia requires a huge supply of Rukashava mushrooms, so I gained a st steady job from this. Oh, well, at least you have a steady income then. But you gotta take care of yourself. My current goal is to save some Mora, buy a house in the city, and live there. Well, good luck with that. Uh, about the Rukashava mushrooms, though. Rukashava mushrooms are great stuff. You know by the name that they are, they must be something amazing left by Greater Lord Rukasha, or Ruka Tavada. So we have Lesser Lord Kusa, Kusanali, and then Greater Lord Ruka Tavada. Like, Lesser Lord Kusanali's father, maybe? 
I think uh, they can serve as cooking ingredients, herbs, well, and maybe fertilizer. Maybe the academia scholars who buy them would know better. Well, I'm not sure. Since the Akasha didn't know, didn't tell me all its uses, I guess I didn't need to know. Are you sure you're getting a good price for these? As long as the academia needs it, I can always make money from it. The only thing I do know is that it's a great ingredient for cooking. Here are some for you. Take it, uh, take a try. Thank you. Oh, and a master chef, huh? Can you teach me how to cook these mushrooms? Ashpazi. Even, even an idiot can cook awesome food with fit with this fresh meat. I'll bet. Can you, you can hunt? Of course, explains the arrows. Where do you think the meat I sell comes from? Did you think stupid boars rush at me and ram their heads against my arrows? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think they might. They certainly do to me. <laughs> That's enough jokes. After being with Mr. Tainari for so long, even the way he speaks has rubbed off on me. Yeah, he does seem like a, a bit of a sarcastic guy. I oversee logistics for the Forest Rangers, so knowing how to hunt and cook is perfectly normal, right? In my opinion, the first step to being a good chef is to be a good hunter. You know, I know a place called the Good Hunter that, you know, serves food. Hello there, Keon the Venara. It's my first time hearing your footsteps. Sorry, but I'm blind. So I can't be of any help to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Still, my hearing is very good. Well, hello then. Oh, hello. Travelers, merchants, and adventurers frequent Gondarvaville. But your footsteps are more agile than theirs. You must be a lively and lovable youngster. Oh, well, thank you. I'm not sure how young I actually am, but... That's a good thing. Very rare to come by in Sumeru right now. Oh? Young traveler, may the greater lord watch over you. Not the lesser lord? Has something happened in Sumeru? Not at all. It's peaceful as always. It's just me, a blind old man worrying about nothing. Use of Akasha has been growing in popularity while fewer duskbirds are flying out of Sumeru city. Are you speaking in idioms here? Or do you mean literal birds aren't flying out of the city? And the use of Akasha. Is that like a drug? I can only hope... Oh, wait, was that the incense? I can only hope that this is a sign of progress. What about the greater lord, though? Hold on, where... Hello. Uh... Yeah, about the Greater Lord. The Greater Lord may be gone, but the people of Sumeru will never forget the blessings she does, she bestowed upon us. Oh, maybe Lesser Lord's mother then. Youngster, I am sure you know that every blade of grass and leaf in, in this land is a blessing from the Greater Lord. Ah, human life is too short. Will I be alive to see the Dendro Archon bring Sumeru back to its former glory? You just said nothing is wrong, though. What former, what former glory do you need? Hmm. Anyone else? Probably, but. Kali. All right. Next, let's see your right hand. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, if maybe the her clumsiness was due to whatever that condition is. I vaguely remember her mentioning in one of the events we did that she had a condition. We didn't really know what it was, though, or anything about it. But I'm guessing it was that, Elazar, or whatever it's called. Uh, but please remember that you still need to be careful, understand? <sighs> yes, I will. By the way, Master... I still haven't received the patrol route for today. Was she depressed too? I think she might have been. I forget. Look, Kale. 
today's patrol will be a long one, so you won't be coming along this time. Aww. Besides, there's a chance we may encounter... Well, you understand. Hmm. I don't, so if you would please explain. But I have a vision too! Aww. Am I useless to everyone now? Aww, Kale. Don't talk like that, Kale. This is not something you need to be worrying about right now. I don't know about that. Ah, there you are. Uh, feeling any better? I'm feeling okay, but it sounds like Kale isn't. Anything we can help with? Yeah, since we'll be staying here for now, we thought we might as well try lending a hand around here. Yeah. <laughs> Seems you're not the type to sit back and take it easy for a while, huh? Not really. Hmm. We're travelers. In that case, we travel. Uh, perhaps Kale could take you two for a patrol south of Gundarvaville for the day. There we go. I'll allow uh, Kale to do something fun. And if you're feeling up to it, Feel you useful. can be responsible for cleaning the statue of the Seven. Hint. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. I think we've already technically gotten our uh, Dendro once, but yeah, we should probably switch. Tenari, we're ready to head out. Got it! I'll be right there! Alright, we'll be heading into the forest now. I'll leave any further details to Kale. Maybe Dendro Traveler is actually better. I, I'm not sure. I haven't really been using them, but I think... Each traveler, each version of the traveler gets a, a little better than the last. At least that's my suspicion. Yes, you can count on me. Oh. I look forward to working with you, Kale. So, Kale, what exactly are we going to be doing today? I need to find the bosses so I can build her up. It's probably the creature that's to the east of here. Can I Northeast. mention cleaning the statue just now, but... Uh, the jade that doesn't really sound like a job for a ranger. Hmm. Well, a forest ranger's responsibilities can be pretty diverse. Yeah. They handle a variety of tasks, like checking the condition of outlying roads, maintaining forest facilities, ensuring fire prevention standards hmm. are met, and providing assistance to travelers and locals. You are legitimately actual forest rangers. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> the name isn't just for show. That is what real-life uh, forest rangers do, too. As for Master, well, he has to handle more dangerous areas of the rainforest. Right. Today we can perform routine checks on the pathway lamps as we make our way to the Statue of the Seven. Mm, got lamps set up. Nice. Hi, Traveler, this way. Where, where, well, oh. You can leave the task oh. of checking the lamps to me. In Kay. the meantime, you two can keep an eye out for anything unusual. <laughs> it sounds like a plan, Kali. Oh, she seems happy enough, but I could be misremembering, but that all just because someone sounds happy doesn't mean they're not depressed. I feel like I'm remembering that right, but hello, Rudaba. I was actually just going for that. Uh, uh, um, damn, it's been so long since I collected one, forgetting the name, but the Dendro thingy. Hello, are you a Fanara? No, I'm not. Can I ask you a few questions? But sure. Oh, adventure challenge, huh? I am not a Venara. Oh, what a shame. Still, the opinion of others can be used as a reference as well, right? That said, I wonder how much you know about a uh, Avidia Forest. Avidia Forest. The traces Greater Lord Rukatveta left in the rainforest. How many of them have you seen? Oh, forgive me. I, I don't think I've seen any. What are the traces look like? Forgive me for taking so much of your time. If you don't mind, we you can have a chat with me when you're free. Okay, um... I'm curious, who are you, though? Oh my, I forgot to introduce myself. I mean, you're a researcher. Researcher Rudaba. I'm an Amurta researcher. Ah, biology. I'm a biology researcher from the academia, and I'm and I'm carrying out an academic study on the rainforest. Hmm. Few places, few better places to be for a biologist if you're, you know, studying variety of species than a rainforest. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I haven't been able to hire a suitable bodyguard due to financial difficulties, so I've been temporarily limited to small-scale surveys in areas protected by the forest rangers. 
Right. Well, I don't work for free, so I'm not going to be able to help you there. Oh, Eremites. Have a drink with Flame Man when I'm back in the city. Oh, first Eremite I've met. Can't these forest rangers be a little clearer? Spores, pollen. How do they expect anyone to understand what they're saying? Uh, what's unclear about spores and pollen? Oh, who are you? I'm from the Eremites. Uh, what else? By the way, do you need a bodyguard? I don't, but she does. No, I'm really strong. I could probably kick you off this bridge and be like, This is Sumeru! Or, I guess, Gandarvaville. Whoa, talk about a braggart. It's just being honest. Well, here's hoping you're strong enough to survive the rainforest. I think I'll be fine, thank you. Otherwise, you'll end up like that researcher over there who can't afford to hire anyone and just wanders around crowded places. You even have a vision, dude. Certainly don't see one. <sighs> I've heard that many researchers frequent the rainforest to study it, so there are more opportunities to make more here. Why can't I find anyone who will hire me? You should probably, you know, you know, look for work in Sumeru City. That's where the researchers who are looking to hire a bodyguard will probably be. And then they'll set out from there. I really envy Flame Mane. It said that she's got a huge job in the city. I'll make uh, I'll make her buy me some drinks when I get back to the city. I wonder if that's uh ah oh, shoot what's her name Dea De Deidre Deidre Deva. Uh, I think I have her. Uh, there she is. Yeah, Dea. Mm. It doesn't say she's a flame main, but she's got quite the main, so. Where are you? Down here? No, actually. Is it up above? Hmm. Probably. Oh, perfect. Yeah, this is going to be very important for traveling <laughs> with all this vert verticality. These things. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Damn it. And there's no more for me. Damn it. Come on, put some of those anchors. <sighs> yeah, it must be up here. Yeah, there it is. Dendroculus, that'll be what it's called. Nice. I don't think that's my first Dendroculus. I think I might have gotten a few, but my first official Dendroculus. Oh, and my first bird eggs in the... Wait, no spot to sit. My first bird eggs to, uh, in Sumeru. Alright, Kali. Sorry about the delay. I'm just exploring, now that I'm here for real. I don't have to just sort of shut my eyes and, uh, pretend I'm not seeing anything. This one of the lamps? Little Philby, you're not from here. I am dead on my feet. I'll bet. I think I'll stay here a while. Yeah. Uh. Ugh, taking the path through the chasm to Samara was a bad idea. I mean, yeah, I originally thought I was gonna come in from the way I originally first set eyes on Sumeru, but no. The path through the chasm was the intended path, which actually kind of makes sense given that the chasm was released before Sumeru. I thought it was a shortcut, but a nobody like me couldn't get through those blockades, so I had to go all the way around instead. Oh, you actually did come the way I originally came then. That really exhausted me. Yeah, that sounds like a bad idea. Uh, don't remind me. It's too late now. 
It's my fault for heading to Liyue after leaving Mondstadt, and then going straight to Sumeru. I wasn't able to plan my route properly. I should have gone to Fontaine first. Hmm. Well, Fontaine is quite lovely. Do you have, like, an end goal in mind? Luckily, I've, arri I've finally arrived at Civilization, so let me rest here for a while. Wise choice. Thanks for the approval. Gives me confidence in my own decision. I'm just gonna assume you're not being sarcastic. It does look pretty safe with so many forest rangers here. Oh yeah. A young girl with green hair tried to say something to me when she heard that I'm a monstatter, but she didn't say anything in the end. Aw. Right, didn't she like Mondstadt like she was a fan of Mondstadt? Or... Mm, I guess we'll learn more about her the proper way. And through vague hints from one or two events. I know she was friends with Amber. Or becomes friends with Amber. What's up? What was up with that? I was too tired to bother asking for direct for details. I'll ask about it should I meet her again. Good idea. Hello there, big fella. Nothing Sorry. Wrong with these two lamps. Let's move to the next ones. No? You sure? They're not really lamping, but... <laughs> oh, this lamp seems to be getting a little wobbly. Let me make a note of it. Oh, alright. <sighs> no problems with this lamp. Good. Good. Yeah. Nice plants. And the plants here we see here makes me think of something like Alice in Wonderland almost sometimes. The statue of the Seven is up on top of that large rock formation. You must have seen it when you came down this road. Oh, before. yeah, yeah. So we were actually really close to Gundarvaville. It's pretty high up there, isn't it? Don't worry. If you're afraid you can't make it up there, I'm sure Master wouldn't mind if you don't clean the statue. Oh, it's okay. I'm a terrific climber. Like, I will inspire terror in you with how terrific I am. Oh? I guess I'll leave it up to you then. There's not much footing once you reach the statue, so be careful up there. Thank you. Hey, I'm like Spider-Man. Paimon will fly up with you and help you with those hard-to-reach areas. Thank you, Paimon. Um, by the way, Kale, do you know anything about the Dendro Archon? Oh, yeah. You know, what's she like? Yeah. Uh, that depends. Are you referring to Greater Lord Rikudavata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? Well, now we kind of want to know about both. I mean... Has there ever been a... Well, actually, no, we do have at least one example of an Archon passing on their title with the... Uh, with A getting the title from her sister. I'm not sure if that's quite the same, though. I mean, she didn't, um, I mean, she assumed the identity of her sister, basically, that I don't think people knew about the existence of both of them. At least not many people did. Hmm. Yeah, tell me about both. Huh? Greater Lord Ruka Devata? Yeah, we heard about her, her from that blind guy. Oh, is that the name of the former Dendro Archon? And what happened to her? Greater Lord Ruka Devata was Sumeru's first Dendro Archon. She created the rainforest as oh, well wow. as the Wall of Samiel around the desert. The Wall of Samiel. Her works of peaceful living for everyone. Well, that's cool. The, I guess the Wall of Samiel keeps the sand from invading, encroaching on the, on the rainforest. Kind of like how the Sahara grows every single year. To the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great calamity that occurred a few hundred oh, years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Probably died in the same <clears throat> event as Makoto, yeah. Right in Makoto. To coincide with Conria, probably. I wonder how many Archons died in that event. Or disappeared. Which, honestly... I'm actually impressed, Conria, that you uh, successfully eliminated that many Archons. At least two, apparently. 
Sounds exactly like what happened to Raiden uh, Makoto. According to what Master has told me, the Sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. Oh. Okay, so we don't know for sure that she was child of uh, the prior Archon, but it sounds like she probably was. To celebrate the reinstatement of or her lost deity, maybe a the reincarnation. Sages dubbed her Lesser Lord Kusanali and let her reside in the sanctuary of Sarasana. Let her reside in the sanctuary of Sarasthana. Okay. Uh-huh. Then what happened? Uh, can you answer me a question? Is the sanctuary a giant tree? Well, and then... Uh, uh, I'm not too sure what happened, to be honest. Hmm. Huh? You're not too sure? But aren't you from Sumeru? Well, just because someone's from somewhere, somewhere Paimon doesn't mean they're super knowledgeable about the history of the place. Yeah, I'm from Sumeru. Uh, but... Yes? Maybe it's difficult to discuss this topic with strangers. If that's the case, then don't worry, we understand. Does this have something to do with whatever that condition was? No, no, it's not that. I'm not trying to hide something from you. Besides, I don't consider you two strangers. No? Well, thank you, Kale. I appreciate that. Even though we just met. <laughs> because you two know Amber, right? Oh, you do know Amber already. Oh my god. Yeah, we do. Wait, Amber? You mean... How did you meet her? Amber, outrider of the Knights of Pavonius, the avid glider from Mondstadt? Yes, that's her. I once lived in Mondstadt for a while. Oh. She helped me a lot during that time. You could even say that she helped me become a new person. Man, I kind of assumed that we would meet Amber in some event after 3.0 was released. Not that you already knew her. Man, Amber is just the best, isn't she, Kale? There is no one like Amber. So true. She lives life to the fullest while always adhering to her strong sense of justice. She's ready to answer the call for action at any moment. Yeah. But is also very understanding of others. She is. She's like the spark that lights the fire in everyone's heart around her. She truly is. She is a, a role model, honestly. Someone to aspire to. If you ask me, she's a prime example of a true outrider. She's the first person anyone coming to Mondstadt will meet. <laughs> you can't yeah. help but be enthralled by her charm and enthusiasm. That's the same with me. Causing you to fall in love with the lands of Mondstadt and... Yeah. Uh, no, keep speaking uh, out. It's okay. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. Wow, we, we've never seen this side of you, Kale. I mean, we just met her. Uh, I haven't thought the work of Outriders was a little different from what you just described, but to one thing's for sure, you really like Amber. Amber is awesome, Paimon. I mean, she is such a good friend to everyone, especially those who, you know have circumstances that make it hard for them to, you know, make friends. Like Eula. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I was rambling on just now. It must have sounded kind of weird. No, it's okay. I understand. I truly understand. <laughs> it's alright, Kale. Knowing that you're a friend of Amber somehow makes Paimon suddenly feel a lot closer to you. <laughs> yeah, like we're practically friends already. Any friend of Amber is a friend of ours. Return to Sumeru, Amber and I have stayed in touch by writing each other letters. Oh, 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 oh. So she probably mentioned us. In one letter, she mentioned that Mondstadt was attacked by a fearsome dragon, but the city was saved by a mysterious blonde traveler and their floating companion. <laughs> yep. I knew you two were the ones she mentioned in the letter the moment I saw you. Mm. But, uh, considering everything you've been through that day, I thought it'd be inappropriate to bring it up. That's fair, I suppose. But, uh, well, that's awesome. Ah, so that's how you knew. Yep, so please know that you two have my complete trust. Really. Oh, well, thank you, Colin. I appreciate that. That explains it a bit more, why you were like, oh, we're, you're not strangers. I was like, we just met. <laughs> but yeah, you, you, you know us more than we know you. Fair enough. I wish I could tell you more about the Dendro Archon. But I have been away from Sumeru for some time, and I haven't read any books. 
Sorry. Why? I do remember that. She wasn't able to read for some reason. She wanted to learn in one of, in that event. She was just sweet. That's all right. You've already helped us a lot. We had never even heard of Greater Lord Ruka Devata or the Sanctuary of Surasthana until you mentioned them. Yeah. Oh, I'm happy that was helpful. There is one thing I want to ask, though. Why do you two want to know about the Dendrarchon? Well, we want to meet her. You explained the purpose of your journey to Kale. Hmm. So that's why you're here. Thank you for telling me your story. You are more than welcome, Kale. Don't mention it. We are friends after all, right? Yeah, Paimon's right. We're friends now. <laughs> all right, we have a statue to clean. Yeah, we probably should. I want to see how close it looks to uh, Nahida. I haven't paid that you close attention to it till banks. now. Well, you two are up there or at least I don't remember I'll it. I'll go ahead and inspect the forest canopy. Let's meet back here shortly. All right. You collect these fruits as well. Where did they go? Uh, so I'll just let you handle the statue. All right. Well, we'll take care of it then. I'll Don't go worry. check the facilities up ahead. By the way, once we're done with our work here, would you like to chat some more? <laughs> yes, absolutely. 100%. All right. Uh, there it is. We. Did I? Oh yeah, I technically already activated this one, didn't I? at it the deity that's carved on the statue is kind of small oh yeah 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 they did get her proportions hmm. i mean Do you think she's supposed to be greater lord ruka devata or lesser lord kusanali my guess would be lesser lord kusanali kusanali but uh maybe lesser lord kusanali the name does seem to fit the statue somehow yeah hmm. i mean she is quite tiny. Well, anyway, we'll have to figure that out later. Let's get started on cleaning the statue. Paimon will fly up and take care of the top, and you clean everything below. Thank you. Excellent. You and Paimon meticulously clean the statue. Nice work. That's one clean statue. Let's head down and meet up with Kale. Yeah. Oh, I uh, need to have Traveler out in order to, uh, let's also worship it. If we can. Um, oh, man. I need 20 Dendroculus even for the first level. <laughs> Must be quite a few of them. But, uh, yeah, we need the Traveler out to change. All right, Traveler. Resonate with Dendro. Nice. The Essence of Flora. Also, uh, what do your talents do here? <laughs> the Thorn Field Cleaver, of course. Um, razor Grass Blade, the flourish of your blade. You unleash a spray of razor sharp leaves that go before you and deal dendro damage. You and Paimon observed the flowing edges of grass and leaf. Nice short cooldown and just standard damage. Are you more like a DPS? A main DPS. Surgent Manifestation. Calling upon the might of the flora all around you, you create a, lee, uh, a lay lotus lamp. The lamp will deal continuous dendro damage to opponents within its AoE. Oh, off-field DPS too. Nice. Um, we'll undergo the following changes after it comes into contact with Hydro, Electro, or Pyro. Let's see, with Hydro, its AoE, the AoE of its attacks are increased. Electro, the lamp's attack speed is increased, and Pyro, the lamp will explode after a short delay and then disappear, dealing AoE dendro damage. So, Hydro and Electro. Can you do both at the same time, or just one? Only one lamp created by the Traveler can exist at any one time. Okay, now yeah, it'll only uh, undergo one Lotus Light Transfer figuration in its duration. You and Paimon studied the sounds of plants that sprout after the rain. Okay. Nice explosion damage. Wow. Um, decent 
duration, pretty long cooldown though. Pretty high energy cost too. Urgent Overgrowth. Play Lotus Lamp uh, will obtain one level of overflowing Lotus Light every second it is on the field, increasing the elemental mastery of active characters within its AoE by six. Oh, nice. A little bit of support, too. Overflowing Lotus Light has a maximum of 10 stacks. So up to 60 uh, elemental mastery. I mean, we have people with much better support than that, but still. Hell, I think. Doesn't um, Nahida get you up to like 250 or something? Elemental mastery. Verdant Luxury. Every point of elemental mastery the Traveler possesses increases the damage dealt by Razor, uh, razor Grass Blade by 0.15%, and the damage dealt by Surgent Manifestation by 0.1%. Yeah, I can definitely agree, or think at least, that uh, this is a seems like a better kit than the prior three Travelers. All right. Let's see what it looks like at the very least. Um, okay, that's actually kind of similar to the uh, the previous one, the uh, Electro skill, I think. I'll uh, I'll keep you in the party for a moment just to build that up. Uh, see what your ultimate looks like, your burst. Uh, where'd you go, Kali? Right down here. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. No? Hold on, Kali. I see is it either below or above. It actually might be below. In this cave. What is this? Hey. Hey. Oh, that's just mean. So close, but so far. Is there a way to get rid of these vines, then? Probably something from the other side. Wait a minute. Is the other side the chasm? No. Okay, yeah. It's probably either from this route here or something eventually will get rid of these vines. A world quest or something. Oh, hello. Nope. All right. All right, Kali. Sorry about that. I got distracted. Oh, I'm taking a sit. Holly, we're back. How did your uh what were you investigating again? Welcome back. The canopy? You must be tired after all that climbing. Let's take a little break. Oh. You brought some fruit and water for us. Oh, thank you. But no, it was no trouble. We 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 used uh whatever those are. Yay! Food! <laughs> what kind of goodies did you bring? Paimon. Restraint. Down. Down. Hey, don't be a party pooper. Aww. It's not like Kale is a stranger or anything. Besides, the best way to compliment a chef is to show passion for their food. That, that is actually true. Yeah. Time on that. I mean, yeah. No, Shangling is right. As she would know, she's a chef too. But yeah, nothing better than uh, making food when you, when you make food for someone and you know, they show great enjoyment for it. I prepared a nice portable dish that forest rangers like to eat called Pita Pockets. <gasps> I hope you'll like them. Oh. Oh, Kale. Yes. Uh, wh whoops. Oh. Ah, no, you dropped it on the ground. Oh, no, it's okay. Five of, quick, five second rule. Not to worry. I wrapped a few layers of oiled paper around each pita. They should be fine. Good, good, good. Besides, we have the 10 second rule. Oh, I'm on nearly had a heart attack there. I'm on 15 seconds is plenty of time. You enjoy the pitas together with Kale. The pitas are amazing. You're quite the cook, Kale. Yeah. What did did you have? So you said these were pita pockets. What was the uh, what was the filling? Thank goodness you wrapped them in paper. Paimon wouldn't have been able to sleep at night knowing something so tasty had been mm. wasted. That would have been super tragic, Paimon, but I think we could have picked it up within 20 seconds for sure. <laughs> you really know how to compliment the chef, Paimon. Hmm. Since you liked it so much, 
I'll be sure to give you a copy of the recipe sometime. Oh, thank you. I'll even include all my personal cooking pointers, so you'll be making your own pita pockets in no time. Thank you, Kale. I appreciate that. Yay! Thanks, Kale. It's hard to believe someone as diligent as you could have clumsy moments, too. Yeah. You want to talk about whatever this condition of yours is? It happens from time to time. Oh, it's okay. So, uh, Kale, don't you think that Tainari's a little too strict with you? He mm. won't let you touch anything without his permission. Or at least anything valuable, it seems. Paima knocks stuff over all the time flying around the traveler, <laughs> but she's yeah. never said anything. Everyone has their clumsy moments. Well, she's never said anything, Paimon. Or, actually, no, she has said things, you just don't listen. And she's thinking them, too. No, no, you've got the wrong idea about Master. Uh, <laughs> sure, he may seem a bit harsh at first, but with some time, you'll see that he's actually very kind-hearted. I'll bet, yeah. A little sarcastic, a little bit, uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, he cares. I've heard the veteran rangers say that Master is from some ancient and mysterious race that is known for their cunning wit and reclusive nature. Right. But Master is actually very kind at heart. Oh, by the way, you've heard of the Academia, right? Yes. Well, there's a group called... Uh... Um... Um... Uh... Uh... Um... Boo... <laughs> something? <laughs> <laughs> uh... Damon, I don't remember either. Well, anyway... Because Master does a lot of research on plants. Sages from the Academia have written him many times, oh. inviting him to take up an official position there. But he's turned them down? But Master declines their offers every time, saying, Sumeru City is too noisy. It'd be bad for my ears. <laughs> yeah, they do look quite strong. That does sound like something Tainari would say. Spe oh, yes, yeah. speaking of his ears, I'd really like to pet them. Oh, you think, Kali? You think he'll let me? <laughs> I know, right? They've always wanted to pet them, too. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> he, he can't hear us, can he? Anyway, Master could have easily left the rainforest to take up a position at the Academia. Right. But he chose to stay here instead as a forest watcher, helping the locals every day and passing on his knowledge to trainees. Well, that's good. In fact, Master's the one who taught me how to make pita pockets. Oh, nice. Really? Paimon would have never guessed that. Oh, speaking of Tainari, he was the one who took care of you after finding you passed out yesterday. He even carried you all the way here. Oh, cool. I kind of assumed it was Kale, but no, that makes sense too. Paimon's still kind of upset, though. He kept scolding Paimon the entire <laughs> way here. Well, what did you do? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Master might have been overreacting a little. No, no, Kale, it's okay. I'm sure Paimon did something to deserve it. But, uh, it's mostly because Paimon wouldn't stop yelling, Why, oh why? Is she going to die? <laughs> it probably started to get under Master's skin after a while. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, Paimon, don't worry, I'm not gonna die. Hey! Don't laugh! Paimon <laughs> was genuinely concerned about you. Oh, it's okay, Paimon. If a god couldn't kill me... I don't think a rainforest is going to. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Now even Kali started to laugh! <laughs> You're just too adorable, Paimon. What can I say? Ugh, that's it! Paimon won't forget this! It's time for some Paimonial wrath! <laughs> this is Paimonial wrath. Oh no! I am terrified, Paimon! Spear me! No! Don't touch me! Aww. Wait. Uh-oh. Paimon, you might have gone too far. Kale, what's the matter? Oh, sorry, Kale. Paimon didn't mean to scare you. Yeah. What's, what's up, Kale? Uh, no, I, I just... I, I didn't mean that. It's okay. Paimon, don't touch Kale. Kale, are you okay? What's the matter? No, uh, I'm... <laughs> I'm fine. I'm sorry. I must have startled you both reacting like that. It's okay. Truly. I mean... Yeah, I think that's a fake smile for sure. Oh, well, it's getting late now. Uh, let's hurry back to Gundam.
Arborville. I think Master and the others should be back by now, too. Yeah. I want to know more about this condition. What was up with Kari just now? And why is she in such a hurry all of a sudden? Mm. Look, she's practically running back. Well, she's very clearly walking Paimon. Now. Like, at a relatively leisurely pace at that. At that. Yeah. Something's up. I don't know what exactly, but... Oh, hello. You again. Ah, traveler. Nostrum. You've returned. Yes, we have. Yep, we're back. Uh, have you seen Kale by any chance? Oh, Kale? Yes. I saw her go into her room just a moment ago. Is she okay? Oh, okay. Guess we'll just have to wait and talk to her tomorrow then. Yeah. I guess so. I'm worried about her, but I guess it's probably nothing too serious, maybe. I, I keep hitting G instead of T. No, no chests. Fair enough. Uh, let's wait. Hey, Tanari. Uh, it's you two. I was just about to go look for you. Yeah. Would you mind, if it's okay, if Kale's okay with it, mind telling us, you know, what's up with her? Huh? Tainari? What are you doing here? Where's Kale? I came to check on Kale's condition. To put it simply, she's not well. Yeah. What's wrong exactly? she's sick how could she be oh wait a minute could it be because of what paimon did yesterday maybe no no need to worry oh something as small as you could never harm her did <laughs> this sickness is something that mm. kale has been dealing with for some time what is the nature of this sickness i'm assuming it's the one that was mentioned before the ever something kale has been more excited than usual since you two arrived a little too much so to be honest she hasn't oh. remembered to take care of herself. Wait, is she unable to get excited? <sighs> I suppose it's understandable, though. She hasn't been around anyone she considered a friend for some time now. It must have been refreshing for her to have you two here. Aww. Well, I hope our presence isn't harmful to her, though. So, Tainari, what's really wrong with Kale? If she doesn't mind us knowing. I don't want to invade her privacy. <clears throat> Let's take this conversation elsewhere. Kale just fell asleep after taking her medicine. She needs some peace and quiet. Of course. So, don't let Paimon anywhere near her. Got it. <sighs> Paimon was thinking all night about what happened with Kale. Yeah. And still can't figure out what the problem might be. Maybe she's in a better mood now. Let's go check on her. Well, don't we need to ask Tainari first? Yeah, let's actually check on Kale. Shh. Kale's asleep. Let's come back once she's feeling better. I agree, but Paimon, you were the one who was literally just saying we should go check on her. <laughs> All right. Tainari. Could enlighten us, please. All right, let's continue our conversation here, shall we? Of course. Away from prying eyes and ears. To be honest, I hadn't realized you were that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale told me just now. Mm. I've also heard all about your deeds in Liyue and Inazuma. Oh, wow. I'm kind of surprised news of that stuff has made it out into the middle of the rainforest. So just to clarify, what I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because... Because? Well, because Kale asked me to. Oh, good. Good. I'd hate to be, in, you know, invading her privacy like that, so... 
And honestly speaking, I was against Kale revealing her past to you. Really? <sighs> but she insisted, saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. Aww. So now she wishes to reciprocate the gesture. Oh, thank you, Kale. So, Tainari, what exactly is wrong with Kale? You said this is something she's been dealing with for some time. Just how serious is it? Yeah, what is it? Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. It is Elazar. Okay, my first instinct was right. And that she did, in fact, have Elazar. Elazar? Yes. It's a disease unique to the lands of Sumeru. It is characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on the body. Hmm. Dark and hardened scales on the body, hmm. At first, the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on affected areas of the skin. However, as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. Damn. I mean, that would... That mild numbness would explain her, you know, dropping things. If it's affecting her hand. In its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely immobile. Damn. Is... Is this something she's been cured of, or... That's being treated? Is it treatable? That sounds terrifying. Yeah. They lose control over... Oh, they lose all control over their body. Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier, it was because... Yeah. Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything, lest she ends up hurting herself. Yeah... Oh man, is there any care for Elazar? With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. That's good. However, there is unfortunately still no true cure for Elazar. <sighs> it's better than nothing. Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hoped that there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization known as the Fatui after one of oh, their God. members lied and said they had a cure. God damn it, Fatui. Ah, uh, that's, that's, that's terrible. I wonder what they did to her. Hmm. I don't know if I, it was extremely foolish of her mother, but if someone's desperate. They're more prone to falling for things like that. What? The Fatili? Ah. It appears you already are familiar with them. That'll save me some explanation. Yeah, they they operate everywhere. Anyway, pretty notorious. The person and very who eventually infamous. rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known as the Doctor. The Doctor. I don't think that's any of the ones we've seen before. Well, no, we would have seen them in the trailer, the Winter Nights Lazo. I'm not sure which one that might be. I have no idea how this doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. Really? Huh. I guess the Fatui weren't lying? Or... Well, they were lying about a cure, but... Not that they could help her. What was the cost, though? Kinds of... Experiments was this quote unquote doctor running. I doubt it. I doubt it was out of the good of their heart. However, Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Yeah, that's about what I thought. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful, but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Mm. Even now, she can still feel deathly afraid of someone touching her. Oh, poor Kale. Jeez. All right, Paimon, we need to be very careful. I don't want to, I don't want to trigger anything. Oh, Paimon had no idea Kale's been through so much suffering. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Paimon, uh, Kale wanted me to tell you that she's sorry for scaring you oh, yesterday. She okay. also wanted both of you to know that she's sorry for hiding her illness. That is, 
It, it's okay. It's not her fault. You know, it's, it's understandable. She doesn't need to apologize. None of this is her fault at all. Seriously. Hmm. Well said. I hope you'll get a chance to tell her that in person the next time you see her. Of course, of course. Kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships. Aww. I trust that you two will never let my trainee experience such emotional pain again. I mean, we'll do what we can. Oh, man. Kale... Man. Don't worry, Tainari. We'll take good care of her. We will. How is her condition now, though? You said she was stable when she was with the Fatui. Is she stable now? You said there's treatments for it, so I assume so. I mean, how serious is her condition? Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led her to break down this time. Uh, as long as she has taken her medicine and gets plenty of rest, she should get better. Ooh, that is good. That is good news. Though I must admit that Kale's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gandarvaville. Hmm. So it has gotten worse then. She was interested in the work of the forest rangers the moment she saw us. I could see that she was serious about learning, so I felt compelled to ask her to join us. Of course, of course. Her stamina has gotten much worse recently. Mm. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long distance patrols are a little too much for her now. You know what I just sort of realized it. Her saying she's not a very good climber, yeah kind of get it now hmm all right now that I've told you about Kale's past I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her medicine I'll see you two later you sure we can't come along yeah we'd like to do something to help Kale too yeah we must I mean we're partially responsible for her in the being in the condition she is now right I mean not the overall condition but her collapse yesterday or today all right, but I must warn you two. The rainforest is a dangerous place, especially for someone who's still recovering, like the traveler. Right. You must follow closely and listen to every instruction. I'll do what I can. No problemo. Let's go then. We'll be looking for a plant known as the Nilot Pala Lotus. It's often used to help those afflicted with Elazar recover their energy. Excellent. Yeah, anything to help Kale. Hey, to find this plant? Nilot Pala Lotuses can be found all over the rainforest, but it often grows right here around Gandarvaville. Oh, good. Hmm. Given the name, it sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. It... You are maybe. correct. Yeah. The Nilot Pala Lotus grows in Probably the water. Down here. When fully matured, they look like giant blue flowers floating on the water's surface. Oh, yeah. Well, Quite an attractive lotus. species, if you ask me. Sounds like it. The large petals are actually the plant's leaves and sepals, which surround a very small flower. Mm. You should note that many of the plants found in Sumeru have names that are contrary to their species. Right. Take the Kalpalata, for example. The plant is not a lotus at all, but rather a vine. And then there's the Sumeru rose, all right, which is not a rose, right. and is completely contrary to its name. He's getting a little, uh... Oh. Huh. He's very excited uh, about plants. Okay. I can see why he should be a scholar. Never bring up the topic of flowers with yeah. Actually, I don't know if that would have actually interrupted the dialogue or not, but... Probably not, it seems like. See, just follow my intuition. So the Sumer Rose is not a rose, though. Didn't know that. How far away is this? Okay, not too bad. Well, we can hit up the uh, teleportation point while we're here. Oh, hello there, little fungi. Scatter! Busted! Ah! There we go. And you too. Get up here, you. Gotcha. Yeah, we gotta build up our stores of spores. 
Also, you know. Oh, jeez. You need a little work there. There we go. Bring it on! And you. Damn it. Get over here, you. Ah, miss. There we go. Propagate. Can I get you? Oh, yeah. Drowned you, even. Okay, where are these lot uh, lotuses? over there. Oh, I gotta see a few of them, actually. Hmm. There should be Nilot Palolotuses growing somewhere yeah, in this I area. Yeah, I saw a few of them. Let's split up and begin searching. If you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. Of course. We'll rendezvous here once you've gathered the needed amount. You around? A whole bunch of them. Yeah, those are actually quite pretty flowers. Oh, we're only collecting the center of it. Not the whole thing. Alright, we've gathered enough new and full of lotuses. Let's head back to meet Tainari. Of course. Anything else here? No. Gotcha. Got four. Well, got six of them even. Let me have a look. Hmm. Good. Very good. These are all excellent quality. Thank you. I'm glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of time here. Really? It seems we even have enough time to stock up on other things I need. Oh, good. Hey, Tainari! Amir? Oh, Tainari! Someone's calling your name! They're dressed like a forest! Ranger. Yeah, I think they are. Ah, said under yes, name. that's Amir and the others. But didn't they just set off not too long ago? Hmm, what are they doing back so early? Trouble? Let's go find out what's going on. Of course. Uh, chronic illness. Ooh. Hold that thought, guys. I just want to... get uh, this teleport point. Make navigating Sumeru much easier in the future. Oh, and a uh, new... Oh, no, never mind. That's just mining. Oh, and a world quest. We still have a number of world quests we need to do, but... We'll continue this quest line for now. There we go. Much nicer. How high are you? All the way up. Damn it. Should have seen that coming. There we go. I thought I saw a... Um, Butterfly for a second, or a little crystal fly for a second. Ooh, that's nice. The city where all wisdom resides. Wait. Oh, yeah. There's Sumeru City. Nice. That way is, I guess, the desert. Sumeru really is ridiculously big. Okay, are you alive? Ow! Oh. Okay. Uh, note to self. Why do I keep hitting G? Is it just because that kind of looks like a GRC? Hey, buddy. Uh, I'm actually interested in... Wherever these um 
supposedly a uh, something around here. Oh, puppy. Busted. I don't know. Let's see. Ah. Okay. I get it. Oh, there's one oh, just under that bridge. Sure, why not? Is that a... Oh, that's a nice chest. Wait, no, that's a... Wait, is that one of the... The green chests are the ones that... Are just like... Welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, is that what that said? Um, the green chests are the ones that just have schematics in them, right? Stabilize. Yeah, yeah. Just like on that one island. Okay. So those are here too. Good to know. Hey guys, Amir. Oh, and you too. Tainari, thank goodness we found you here. We were just about to head back and find you at Gandarvaville. What's going on? Yeah, what's the matter? We just discovered a withering zone. A withering zone? Well, that doesn't sound good. Like the plant life are literally withering, or... The withering is back? But the patrol route you were on should have been already cleared just a week ago. It reappeared so quickly. A withering? It doesn't sound good. Can you tell me the exact location? It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area. So we decided to come find you as quickly as possible. Sounds like a smart move. And the radius of the contamination? Sorry, I couldn't get a clear enough view to tell. Hmm. No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading. So we didn't risk getting any closer. That was probably the right move. Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. Yeah. I'll go deal with it right away. In the meantime, please guide these two back to Gandarvaville. I kind of want to see what this is, what the withering is. Wait, Kainari, why don't you let us help you? Is the withering too dangerous for someone who doesn't know what they're doing? You two have only just arrived in Sumeru. You're still unfamiliar with many things in these lands. Right. There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru rainforest. It's called the withering. Yeah, and what exactly is it? The affected areas not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal to wildlife and even people. If you don't carry a vision, then you should think twice before approaching such places. I, uh, I'm, I'm probably fine. Yes, Amir is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding when I said the rainforest is a dangerous place. I effectively carry a vision. As Amir said, only someone with a vision, that is, the power to manipulate elements, will be able to resist the withering's corrosive effects for a time. That's right. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with the proper abilities deal with it, like Tainari here. Right. I, I, I'll be fine. Only someone with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it. I can control the elements, don't worry. But you don't seem to carry a vision. It, it's hidden. Uh, yeah. Don't worry, she may not have a vision, but she's a real pro at using the power of the elements. Yeah. Which I, yeah. I don't know why I've, early on I thought that was a secret, but she is quite open about it these days. Hmm. Seems the rumors about you were true then. In that case, all right, you two may accompany me. We typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gandarvaville. We'll make an exception today and show you what it looks like up close. Excellent. 
I'm very, very curious. I guess the chronic illness is of the force itself. Stop. Don't move any further. Yeah, I noticed Look change. There, in the distance. Huh? Where? Oh, look. Those plants have withered. Yeah. The little area is kind of gloomy. Very fitting Even name. The air looks like it's filled with ash. Very fitting name indeed. Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of this. Yeah. That is the withering. All right, traveler. We're going to have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call Tumors of the Withering. The if we things. eliminate those, then the area will be saved. All right, let's do this. Thank you. But I must warn you, don't push yourself. This is your first time handling this sort of thing, after all. It, it's okay, don't worry. We Even with elemental powers, once you step inside the Withering Zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. If at any point it becomes too much, return outside the zone and take a breather. It could become a matter of life and death. Will do. Don't worry. You ready then? Let's go. Hell yeah. Deal with this withering. First, we must locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. Like here? Or no? <laughs> Dreadful withering. The withering is not a fixed location. Instead, it refers to areas that have been corroded by some sort of mysterious and ominous power. In these areas, characters will accumulate decay. The speed of this accumulation will differ depending on the withering zone you're in. Ugh, that doesn't sound good. Depending on how much decay you have accumulated, all your party members or, uh, will have their own. All elemental resists, physical resist, and max HP decreased. These stats will decrease more in accordance with the amount of decay accrued. Eh, yikes. So if it might just very it very well might lower your resistances enough that you could die in a single hit, or if you remain within withering zones after you uh, you fully accumulate decay, all your party members will fall. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay. You must use the power of the Dendrograna to clear the withering away. Only via this method will uh, can you destroy the withering branches that spread this corrosive power. Only when all the withering branches within a withering zone are destroyed can the tumor of the withering at the beating heart of the area be destroyed. Most withering zones can be destroyed in this way, but... Then the withering zones, candles... Uh, what, what what's the but? Within the withering zones, candles of life and flames of and flames of life may appear and help to decrease the accumulation of decay. Prepare for the worst before entering the withering zones. They didn't give me that but. Did we not? That we have the Dendragana. Yeah, we do. There we go. Yeah. Uh, no, we still got one. No? Oh, that's the heart, isn't it? Okay, uh, Yalen. No, wrong thing. Quietly now. Gotcha. There we go. I hear you. Busted. Things are about to get tight. Uh, Dendrograna. Great work. There we go. Now that all the branches have been cleared, we'll need to take care of the tumor. Huh. 
Gotcha. No. Guess we have to take this out. And you really need more energy recharge. I get it. I mean, she doesn't have any artifacts on her, so... Let me guess. I need... No? Oh, I see. We have to touch it. Nice. We did it! Everything's returning to normal now! Yay! Now, now the place looks much lovelier. Yes. Thanks to you two, we were able to quickly restore this area back to normal. I wonder if this is a, like, there's a set number of withered places around here or if they pop up at random. Um, Tainari? You make it sound like we did well, but why does Paimon have the feeling you're worried about something? Yeah, what's the matter, Tainari? Don't hide things from us. It's that obvious, huh? <sighs> All right. It's like this. Recently, the rate at which withering zones appear has been increasing. Ooh. Even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. Well, that sounds like a problem. If that simply meant more work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. Right. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. Right. Devastating to the ecosystem. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more hmm. serious. Really? Coincidence, or do you think they're, well, related? But why is that? I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the Academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. Hmm. So it's universal for those with Elazar? That their conditions have been getting worse as the withering increases? Is there no way to, to permanently get rid of the withering? I mean, I guess we need to know the source of it. It's a supernatural phenomenon, it seems like, but... No, none that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. Oh. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. Huh. Is it like a, a ley line phenomenon? Like some sort of ley line disturbance, or what? Oh, oh by the way, have you heard of Soul before? Not a clue. Soul is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense, you can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. Huh. Wait, is this in the chasm? I don't remember a large tree growing downwards. Well, I, well, I climbed a bunch of roots. Is that ermine soul? I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? Yeah. They're like the roots of ermine soul, spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. Right. Spreading and extending a massive cavern. Sounds a lot like what I saw when I got lost consciousness in the cave. Yeah, though that wasn't underground, was it? Also, the way he was describing that earlier made it sound like it was underground. Oh, hey, is this new? The dialogue review? I know that I knew that um, Star Rail had it, but I didn't remember Genshin not having that option. Let's see, Urban Souls, a tree located deep beneath the surface. Large tree that grows downward rather than upward. Yeah, see, that's that's the thing that that makes it sound like it's upside down. But maybe not. I mean, that was in, like, a giant valley. But, hmm. Ley lines continually absorb the memories of this world, which are then funneled into Ermin's soul, okay. allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. 
Archon of Wisdom. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because yeah. the consciousness is directly connected to it. To the tree? Derman it is soul? also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermin's soul. Huh. So I'm now much more confident that that dream had to do with... with Kusanali. Um... Now you say that it's the Dendros are a Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermin's soul. So Ermin's soul is the actual source of the power rather than the other way around. Okay. So, I mean, I'm getting the sense that it's kind of like a world tree. And as for the withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. Ooh. You, uh, you mean Ermin's soul is sick? That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devada's familiars a long time ago, but even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermin's soul. Huh. Well, what were Ruka Devada's familiars? Hmm. Creatures? Is this kind of like how we talked, presumably, to Kusanali through the bird in the uh, Golden Apple Archipelago? I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time until a cure is found. Hmm. Is Ermin's soul a place we can go to? Try and cure it. All right, that's enough on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Kandarvaville. Sure, sure. Very interesting, though. Yeah, let's get this other teleportation. Could really use anchors right about now. Yeah. Oh, shoot, we're we gonna make it. I think we'll make it. As long as I don't hop. Actually, maybe I can hop now. Now we're fine. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. That's another one over there that those things Right. I think I need to hit it with Dendro, but, uh, yeah, those things are, uh, for exploration purposes. All right, back to Gondarvaville. Callaway, we're coming for you gonna make you feel nice and better and I swear before we leave Sumeru I will deal with whatever this sickness is that's infecting both the land and you I swear it oh Tainari you all made it back how did it go it went quite well actually the withering zone you reported has been taken care of no need to worry. I feel like you should have way more arrows than that, buddy. Huh? Wait, is that... A birdie? Oh no, Papaja! Uh, is that the name of the bird? Huh? What's wrong, Tainari? It, well, it's, it's just a, like a tropical bird. This dusk bird is Hapasia's designated courier for urgent news. Oh. Uh, you do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Oh, yeah. Oh, Hapasia was her name. Okay, so this is a courier for her. That's a fun courier. Um. Also, that answers another question we had, whether the dusk birds flying out of Sumeru City was a literal, you know, bird or not. Apparently so. Oh, her? How could we forget? Uh, so did something happen? 
Let me see what's written in the letter first. Hmm. Uh... So what's it say? And what's with that weird expression on your face? Uh, just let Paimon read it. <laughs> huh? Uh... All Paimon sees are three squiggly lines! Is, uh, that normal, Tainari? <sighs> yes. Uh, allow me to explain. After we brought you from Hapasia's cave to Gandarvaville, Hapasia resumed her meditation. Right. Did she ever stop? She must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat, and oh. it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. <laughs> this letter is her asking us for help. We need to go. All right. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, wait. How did you know all that from just a few lines on the paper? That's also a good question, actually. Well, obviously because this has happened before. <laughs> Last time she drew five lines, and <laughs> by the time we found her, well, I prefer not to remember that. Um, five days since she had eaten last last time? Is, is she incapable of writing, or...? Needless to say, Hapasia's been through worse, but we should oh. still get to her as quickly as possible. Sure. Is this a higher, prior a higher priority than Kali, then? I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Paimon, Traveler, could you two bring these to her? Sure. Wait. You want us to bring her the rations? Uh, but will the Traveler be okay if her cave is still filled with that funny incense? Good point, Paimon. Let's find out. Here, Traveler, take a smell and see. Oh, yeah. So, how do you feel? Hmm. It's a light and refreshing fragrance. Huh? Really? You're not feeling even a little drowsy? Did you, like... Inoculate me against the effects of the incense? Incense somehow, Tainari? With one of the medicines you gave me? But wait, how'd you know that she'd be okay this time, Tainari? Good question, uh, Paimon. Back when we were clearing the withering zone, I observed that she could adeptly manipulate the dendro element. Yeah? I knew then that she would be fine. Oh, puppy wants a, uh, wants a pet, traveler. Oblige it. And if I may ask... When I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw when you were unconscious? Yeah. What I saw weren't hallucinations, were they? That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all. Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. <laughs> What's your, uh, you know, I don't need an apology if I get an explanation for why. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tevat. Well, that's heavy. My forefathers were shown much favor by Greater Lord Ruka Devada. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was a part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. Hmm. I mean, it sounds like the tree and or... Lesser Lord Kusanali were personally entrusting me with the fate of Sumeru, so I'm not sure it was up to you. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. But thank you. So what exactly was it that I saw? When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Soul. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Ermin Soul itself. Oh, I was witnessing memories then. Okay. Is this something that other people see when they pass out due to that incense, or is this uh, very much a me thing? I mean, I feel like it would need to be at least somewhat regular for you to even know about it, or to even think of it as a possibility. I could try to tell you more. But it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit Borneal are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermin Soul. Okay. Just as you did. So it is, at least, if not regular, something that they have done and try to do. Uh, that sounds nice and all, but will she really help us? Seriously, she completely ignored us the last time we tried talking to her. Well, on she was meditating or something. That was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. During that time, she must avoid communicating with others. Oh, so she actually did just straight up ignore us then. 
Please, wait here for a moment. Sorry for doubting you, Paimon. Yes? Tainari? Pet the damn dog. Here, take these. It's a meal I packed for Hapasia. Oh, good. As well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Thank you, Tainari. Also, here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her, and she'll answer any questions you may have. Well, thank you. Can I take a look at the letter first, or...? <laughs> no. I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. Oh, you're welcome. Anything for a friend of Kale. Who is, in turn, a friend of Amber. Anyway, please take good care of Apasia. I will. I'll go prepare Kale's medicine now. Good. Using the Nilot Palo Lotuses while they are still fresh will significantly boost their effectiveness. Oh, good. Don't let us keep you then. Rest assured, Kale will recover quickly as long as she has her medicine. She is still getting worse, though, you said. Damn it. Yeah, I can't look at that letter. There it is. A letter from Tainari to Hapasia. In the letter, Tainari explains your identity and situation after coming to Sumeru and requests that Hapasia help clear up your doubts. And then emergency food. Tainari prepared for Hapasia. Paimon took a look up, took a peek inside uh, into the lunchbox, finding some traditional Sumeru delicacies that looked very tasty inside. You didn't eat them, Paimon, did you? Bad Paimon. Alright. Go check up on uh, Kali first, or... Wait. Where was Kali's hut? Right here? No. Or yes, maybe. No. Um, is the best place to live. Hello, um. Greeting, greetings. Welcome to the Kanda to Kandavaville. Oh yeah, you have that that thing we've seen from a few people actually. Though not everyone's had it. I remember noticing it the first time we came here, I think. I think Apasia had it too, or maybe not. Life is comfortable here, right? It's much better than the city. Um, do you not like the city? What's so great about the city? It's a its atmosphere always feels weird to me. No matter how tall the buildings that are built leaning against the divine tree are, we seem to draw, draw no closer to the gods. Well, it sounds to me like that's not where the god lives. Or any of the gods for that matter. Otherwise, we would. Well, why would researchers who so desperately yearn for knowledge come to Avidya Forest to gain success? Now, not that I'm saying that knowledge is that good, but you should understand what I mean, right? Well, knowledge is great. Tell me about yourself, though. I'm the longest living resident here. One of them, anyway. Perhaps only Kaon, who's a few years my elder, can compete with me. It was a blessing in disguise, this carefree life in the forest. You enjoy it, then? I was a researcher of the academia in my youth, but I was caught up in vicious, in vicious academic competition. Yeah, that's why Lisa left, isn't it? One of the reasons. I didn't want to fight with those unethical researchers. A secluded life in the forest was way better. It was at it was at here when I realized, or it was when I realized that knowledge, power, and wealth are the source of our troubles, and that a simple life is the best life. Those youngsters from the academia should learn the forest ranger's way of life. Hmm. Well, forest rangers are civil servants too, though. You can't just group them up together because they are all civil servants. 
Let me explain. It's like how the Dendro Archon and the Greater Lord are incomparable to each other. Do you get it now? I actually don't. Because one is tall and one is short? Instead of asking me more questions, why don't you just stay a few days? I'm certain you'll get to know the simplicity and beauty of forest life. Well, I heard, I mean, I, I, I agree with you. I enjoy, you know, just existing in nature. Not sure I don't want to live there permanently, but... Oh, okay. Right, that's where we originally came from. We go up or stay down. I want to assume beyond the waterfall. Seriously, so convenient. Oh, can't make it to that one, though. Last time I did this, though, it hurt me. Okay, that's fine. I guess it was just one that blew up on me. Hello, Aramites and Hyon. should still be in the cave. Yeah, you have it too. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. Is it like a scholar thing or? The lady, old lady was a scholar after all. Let's see if I can't talk to you. If I head left from here, you are. I'm a researcher conducting observations of Avidia's for forest ecology, and that is my bodyguard. We're not suspicious people, so please don't be too wary of us. The withering seems to be spreading lately, but there hasn't been much of a, cha a change in Avidia Forest's. Forest, uh, video forest's ecology. I guess the forest rangers have been working really hard. Yeah, yeah, they have. What about the rainforest? If you know Sumeru, you'd know that this is just the easternmost area of it. If you pass Caravan Ribot and go further west, you'll find yourself before an endless desert. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. It's said that a very, very long time ago, Sumeru was a paradise covered in green, and the desert is the result of a disaster. Really? Huh. I wonder what disaster. Though, I don't know. I, I kind of like deserts too, though. They're beautiful in their own right. About the withering. The withering is the result of contamination. If its source cannot be eradicated, then it will never end. But the contamination of Erminsul uh, 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 is not so easily resolved, is it? We can only trouble the forest rangers until a fundamental solution is found. Right. It was right through here. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Hapasia. Got food for you. Hello. Special delivery. Hapatia? Hey, there's nobody here. Where the hell did you go, Hapatia? Hmm. Maybe she went out to look for some food. Let's try looking around the area. Hmm. Let's investigate the cave first. What was that sound? It sounded like it was coming from inside the cave. It was a bubbling sound. And a rustle. A rustle in the bubble. Hapatia? It's Hapatia! Is she okay? Clearly not. She has some fruit, though. Oh, it's a little... Adorable! <laughs> little face. Oh my god! You are so cute! Hapatia? What 
was that about? There you are. Why? Why the sudden scene change? Hypatia, are you alright? Clearly not. Oh, oh, so hungry. <coughs> Eat water. She somehow has more energy than I expected. There's no way we can get her to eat in her current condition. Uh, let's try finding some water first. I mean, there's water all around. Definitely some, I mean, next to the fall, there, there's like a river outside. A stream. Huh? Wait. Why does it look super foggy outside hmm? all of a sudden? Uh, anyway, let's go look around. It's not withering, is it? Can't be good, right? Wait. Is that a giant fucking onion flower? Huh? Hot things out here end up looking like this. Damn it. Did I uh, did I fall asleep again? What happened? And where are we? Relax, Paimon. It's a giant bulb of some flower or onion or something. There must be a logical explanation for all this. Really? Oh, maybe you're right. Let's go investigate the area. Proceed onward and go through the tree hollow. Yeah, I think I... Jeez, did we just get tiny or what? Let's actually try talking to Hypatia first. Okay, never mind. Oh. Well, that's not what I wanted to use. I wanted to use. There we go. Door. Oh, we're new. Yeah, we're in a domain. That makes sense. Yes, it is. Or we're tiny. About that cave. Uh, let's think of a way to get over there and have a closer look. But at the Who door. Knows? Maybe we'll find a lead of some kind. Maybe. Quiet now. Propagate. <laughs> oh, finally. All right, let's see what this does. Um. Okay, we got a little lantern. Um, there we go. That confused it. Busted. <laughs> Bouncy mushrooms in domains. I think we've already seen these before, but you will sometimes find bouncy mushrooms of this sort in Sumeru's domains. The reasons for which these mushrooms are not one of the tri uh, Lakshana creatures are unknown. But must be quite fascinating indeed. The Trilakshana. Okay. Any other anything? No. Do I need to go higher? Oh, I see. Right up to here. Uh, let's go on this one first. Ah, wait, so... Okay, in that case, let's go to that one first. <laughs> and then we'll go all the way up to the top, or... Is this where I came from? Oh, hello. Hello, Charles. What are you doing here? Gotcha. Not who I meant to hit, but okay. 
lot of you. There we go. Oh, and something else we need. Apparently. Fair enough. Oh, hello. Turn this into a little pixie. Where are you taking us? Uh, where did you? Ah, huh. primeval rosen in domains. You will sometimes find primeval rosen and seal paths that correspond to them within domains in Sumeru. Collect three primeval rosens within these domains to unlock the corresponding path. Okay. Did you okay? Ow. Can I not? No? Shoot. This way, please. Oh, silly me. Wait, was this the door I was supposed to go in? No, this is different. Where the hell did I go? Oh, wait. Okay, no, the door I was going to go in was... Further. Oh, hey. This is the special door we want to open. I think. Maybe. There's another one. Put you in here. Where's the third? the door we originally were supposed to go to. Hmm. Not over there. Probably through there. But I think there was more along this path that we didn't actually investigate. Quite yet. Yeah, over here. Back here, right? Oh, I see. This is the path we had already. Okay. That takes us back to the original, the beginning. Fair enough. This we can't open. Right. There we go. Oh, what the? Investigate the quaint room, huh? In Inazuma? The hell? Huh? What happened just now? Why did everything around us suddenly change? Yeah. No kidding, Paimon. Very strange indeed. Inazuma is not what I was expecting at all. Uh, okay. Whoa. Is it pulling from my memories or? Oh, we found ourselves on the other side of the door. Nice. Come, my elevator. Hmm. 
Nice. So we needed to activate this door. Good. Damn it. Again. Inazuma again. Let's get the courtyard far down the corner. Yeah, it's uh, back to Inazuma. What in Tibet is going on here? Seriously. This place is getting weirder by the minute. Oh, hey, what's the matter? You don't look so good. No? Oh, no. Seriously, though. Why Inazuma? So strange. Oh. The symbol on the door. Right there. There we go. <laughs> it's a painting now that kind of cool. It's a really cool effect. Oh, there we go. I mean, it's not... There's got to be a reason for that. I mean, Scaramouche is going to be important soon. And maybe something because of him? Just maybe? I don't know. It's not really a reason, though. Oh, wait. Who's that? Oh, an Abyss Herald. Apparently the one, uh, the one I've been meeting. Okay. Ah, the Abyss Herald! What are you planning to do in this strange place? Strange place. Plotting. <laughs> you needn't worry about such things. They don't concern you. I mean, they concern me a little because I need to talk to Lesser Lord Kusanali and... I mean, Sumeru's a nice place. I'd hate to see anything bad happen to it. I trust my brother. I'm not sure try I trust you guys, though. Oh. Alright. We're doing this. Gather. Propagate. Bust it. Confidant to the omen. Here comes the catch. Alright, going water. I wish I had my um frozen or You seem to not be my reactions don't seem to be doing anything. Huh. Seriously. Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. We faced others like him before. What's wrong this time? Yeah, something's up. Traveler, though you may have managed to avert countless crises before, your good fortune was bound to end sooner or later. Hmm. It's time you realize how weak and powerless you really are. Yeah, you see, you work for my brother. Um... Even if you were able to do anything to me, I don't think he'd be happy with you if you did. I still must find my brother. Your brother? <laughs> oh, pitiful traveler. Are you really so ignorant? Or are you just living in complete denial? I... what? That he's, you know, your quote-unquote prince? 
No, no, I accept that. But that doesn't mean I don't need to find him and come to understand what it is he's trying to accomplish and why. I mean, he's my brother. Of course I trust him. His Highness has long since forsaken you. No. Your meager existence in his eyes is that of an annoying bug, only to be stepped upon. Call him bullshit, Abyss Herald. The bonds of love and family which drive you to find your sibling are utterly gone. Your journey is no. meaningless. I don't believe you. Not for a second. But don't you fret now. Today will be your last. Now die! No. Brother would not forsake us. Uh, huh? Mm, back again. Paimon wasn't actually there with me, was was she? What was all that just now? Strange. It's like I was just dreaming for a moment there. But I can't remember what I saw. Oh. That deja vu. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> mm. That's a bit different. Well, the good news is that she's still conscious. Hey, why'd you drop her food on the floor like that? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Kind of zoned out for a second there. Uh, are you okay? That's really not like you. Yeah. Nah, that Abyss Herald is full of shit. Anyways, we can talk about this later. We better make sure she's alright first. Our brother would never forsake us. Just like we will never forsake him. Whoa! Wait a sec. Look at all this fruit lying around her. We can put that to good use. That is a giant apple in Sincedia. As big as your head, Paimon. Some water and fruit juice. Uh, who is there? Tainari, is that you? That is most definitely uh, not me. Hello, Hapasia. Huh? It's okay. You can relax, Hapasia. Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. Here, we have a letter that he asked us to give you. You okay? You just live in this cave. Uh, yes. I need a click. No. I see. So, you're friends of Tainari. I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. I wonder what this one does. Ah, uh, very cool. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. You're welcome. Uh, well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. That's it was so, already here when we arrived. So big. Maybe it's just perspective. Maybe it's actually much smaller just because it's in the foreground. We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit lying around and even some juice dripping from your lips. <laughs> uh, how did you end up like this anyway? Oh, really? Yes, really. Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh, neighbor. Oh. Must have come by and saw me like this. And who is this neighbor of yours? Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? Is it a little round creature? Kind of like a cabbage? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh? So you're able to see them too? What, was this like an imaginary friend of yours? You tell Hapasia and Paimon everything that happened after entering the cave. Wait, hold on a sec. 
second traveler. You say that before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? Come on. Remember what happened last time I entered this cave? No, it's not too crazy to believe. And besides, I mean, first time I woke up in this world, I found a strange creature. Some mysterious, strange creature. That one even floats. It was no weirder. No, I actually do believe what the traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. <laughs> you needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. Oh. Well, that's an amazing ability of theirs. So, Hypatia, just what kind of creature is your neighbor exactly? It was quite adorable. I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. Interesting. Also the ability to draw us into dreams. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Huh. Interesting. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding, and my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. You know, she doesn't have the little the green like leaf-like symbol sort of floating next to her ear. Interesting. And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the opening of the cave. Yeah, the little guy. In my curiosity, He's adorable. I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. <laughs> whatever that is. It wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Hmm. So they're not visible to most people, then. Oh! And then? Are these the familiars of the Dendro Archon that... Uh, what's their name? Mentioned? And then, I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. Hmm. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But, sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later. And they weren't alone. Oh? There are multiple of them, or...? I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them. But I never would have expected them to save me. Oh, Fascinating little creatures. Sounds like a great neighbor. Yes, no doubt about that. By the way, Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. Oh yeah, plenty. I hope that that... Since that was a dream, I hope that wasn't just dream treasure. <laughs> you can eat first, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. Yeah, we, we brought food. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped hey. the food earlier... Hey! Time on! <sighs> anyway... I have more like we'll food. Need to prepare something ourselves. Besides, Paimon's getting hungry too. Oh? Let's eat first and talk about Ermansoul later. You're, you're not worried that I'm just gonna drop it on the floor, Paimon? Maybe you should do it. Traveler, today's menu will feature sweet madame and a radish is... veggie soup. You'll love them, Hypatia. Hi, Mom. They're can... specialties after all. No, we can do better than radish veggie soup. Come on. That's like the simplest, boringest recipe we know. Mm, sounds good. I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. See? I certainly look forward to it. We need to get something better. It's been so long since I've had a decent meal, too. To be honest, the last time had to be when Tainari came to visit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Actually, hold on. Let's talk to Hypatia. Are you already finished cooking? Mmm, smells delectable. I haven't actually I'm cooked at all. I'm truly thankful whenever I can enjoy a proper meal like this. Uh, cooking really isn't my forte. <laughs> right. Oh, those apples are huge. Oh, yeah, maybe not that big. Yeah, no, they're they're pretty big. Ooh, 
Ooh, cabbage and wheat. Can use that in our meal. Make uh, make a boxed lunch. Some bento. Put some dishes over the fire. All done. Let's use the empty box that Tainari gave us since we already washed it. Oh, it smells amazing. I'm on. And the box is a nice touch too. Let's go serve this up and start eating with Hapasia. You do know that we could have salvaged the the meal that I dropped, right? Twenty minute rule and all that. There you are, Hapasia. Are you already finished? Yeah. Food that you have specifically prepared for Hapasia. The box contains sweet madame and radish veggie soup. You hope Hapasia will like it. After a delicious meal together, you tell Hapasia about connecting with her uh, Even though her everything soul. you mentioned was in Tainari's letter. It's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermin's soul. Yeah. Immediately after smelling spirit born eel for the first time. I mean, I'm a little... I mean, not to toot my own horn, but I'm a little special. It took me nearly three years before I could do so. And everyone at the Academia even lauded me as a genius. Wow. You should know that some researchers spent their entire lives without ever successfully connecting with Ermin's soul as you have. Hmm. You know something, Hapatia? You actually look like one of the... I, mean, I might be misremembering. You kind of look like one of the forms that uh, a certain oceanid... Oceanid uh, took in this bottle world. Maybe that's coincidence. So why does this incense allow people to connect to Erminsul? Or was she... A, no, she was an oceanid, not a water mimic. Or just water mimics present. The ingredients used to make spirit born ale primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Hmm. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermensoul, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the earth. Wow. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Urban Soul. So you're tapping into the Dendro Archon's powers to peer into the earth. Interesting. Sorry, but not yet. Sorry, you lost me there. That's all right. I'm sure you'll come to a clearer understanding as you remain in Sumeru. Probably. Hmm. Makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was she sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? Hmm. That was primarily due to her body's unique constitution. Stimulated by the incense, she could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload. Hence, the adverse reactions. When you say she, you're referring to me? Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of Spirit Born Ale would cause adverse effects. Not to worry, though. It appears you've already fully recovered. Okay, yeah. Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon. But unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of spirit born ale should no longer trigger such reactions. Good. But I could commune with the Dendro Archon if I wanted to then? Whew. Well, that's a relief. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. Hmm. Even if it meant suffering from pounding headaches for the rest of my life, I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Ermansoul at will. Mm, I don't know. You say that now, that's only because you aren't actively having to deal with pounding headaches for the rest of your life. Oh, you're really serious about this whole thing, aren't you? <laughs> I am a researcher, after all. I suppose so. As a member of the Ritaoist Darshan at the Academia, my main area oh, of research are. is the stars and their connection to the fate of living beings. But there is still so much we don't know. Especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies. I hear that trains run throughout the stars. Which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermansoul for answers. If only my perception wasn't so limited. 
Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermensoul will be successful, or that doing so will leave my consciousness intact. Hmm. Leave your consciousness intact. Is this, um, dangerous? I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds while seeking to attune Jeez. with Ermansoul during this stage. Uh, so very dangerous. Sages have said that Ermansoul contains divine knowledge, and touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. Oh, that's scary. Uh, you consider this worth it then? That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Right. Whoa. So knowledge from Ermansoul could be super dangerous. Don't you ever feel afraid of the risk, Capasia? I would, I would have to imagine so. Of course I do. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight and dead silent without even the sound of insects. However, that would be pretty creepy. I've been feeling better as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. <laughs> I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. Yeah? Hi, Mun. Are you able to see that over there? <laughs> but what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They, they must be those familiars that were mentioned. What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound so out of place for a divine being, does it? Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. No? Like... No, no, like, no REM cycles, or... Huh. Is that true? You can never dream. Yes. Well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Adults, however, never do. Huh. You still sleep, but you never dream. Interesting. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality, but that which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. Right. Reminds me of the dream I saw from the Aranara. It's a big chaotic mess. The Aranara. Dream from the Aranara. Yes. If one struggles with anxieties, those emotions could influence their dreams. What was the Aranara? Mm. Is this the, uh... Is Aranara the... The dream... That I had due to the little creature? Maybe? Had some visions there. The fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. They believe that Greater Lord Rukadevata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. Hmm, I don't know if I agree with that. Dreaming is important. Also, isn't the Greater Lord Rukadevata, like, dead or missing? I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. Hmm. I studied hard, enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. <sighs> sure enough, I never dreamed again. Aww. But then, on the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream again. Oh, yeah, those are called Aranara. So the world of the Aranara. Okay. It was incredible. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw... I clearly recall the feeling. I suddenly felt like I was a child again. Hmm. Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be. But I was free of fear. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. Absolutely not. Also, it's kind of a critical part of sleep. <clears throat> Even if you don't remember it. Uh, just be sure not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. They'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. <laughs> of course. It's not like something I normally talk about anyway. So, do you have any thoughts about the things she saw when she connected with Ermansoul? Oh, yeah, yeah. Great tree. I heard a 
somewhat of a voice. Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermin's soul itself. Hmm. World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? Well, that depends on if there's just words in between that we're missing. Or if this is actually the complete thaw. Like, say, world, comma, don't forget me would have a very different meaning than just world, comma, forget me. Uh, if only I could ascend past Satyavada life and begin Paripurna life, I might have some more answers for you. Um, I guess that's the next stage. Uh, if you two are ever in the area again, please be sure to come and see me. Well, we wish you luck in your endeavors, so thank you, Hapatia. There's no need to be thanking me. You two are my saviors. Besides, I'm already looking forward to tasting some more of your cooking. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Make you something better than radish soup next time. Continue chatting before settling down for a good night's rest. Now know. that we know her page is all right oh. and had the chance to ask her some questions, Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gundarvaville. I was half expecting another vision, but yeah. All right, Hapatia. Heading out, I see? Yeah. If there's anything else you'd ever like to ask about, you know where to find me. Of course. Well, we might as well take the opportunity. What about dreams? Even though that little neighbor of mine was able to induce a state of dreaming, I doubt they were able to control the actual contents of the dream. Right. So, I mean, if that was just a sort of dream, I guess that, I mean... The whole thing about my brother having forsaken me was probably just anxiety from deep within, yeah. About a possibility, though. No. It's not a possibility. I refuse to believe it. The end of your dream seemed quite terrifying. Perhaps there's something that's troubling you deep inside? No, I think our brother is waiting for us. We just, like he said, we have to travel this path on our own, and Eventually, we will, uh, you know, sit down and talk. Not to worry, though. I'm sure you'll be able to handle whatever comes your way in the real world. As someone from Sumeru who cannot dream, I needn't ever worry about nightmares. But lately, I've started to feel that I'm somehow missing something without dreams. <laughs> it's a little hard to explain. Yeah. Heading out, I see? If there's anything else you'd ever like to ask about, about you know where to find me. Ermin Soul. Sumeru researchers use Spirit Born Ale to assist them in connecting with Ermin Soul to extract knowledge from it. Though the process can be risky, we believe that the knowledge gained is worth it. Right. Even if there's a, what is the chance of you, of you, you know, the typical person losing their mind? Unfortunately, I cannot help you understand your dream. At least not yet. I'm still learning how to tune to the depths of Ermin Soul myself. Right. Pernip or something. Life. I hope that I'll be able to ascend past Satyavada life and gain deeper insights. Well, like I said, I wish you luck on that. I think you'll succeed. Heading out, I see. You seem to if have a anything good else head on your shoulders. Like to ask about, you know where to find me. About your unusual neighbor. I've heard local children here in the rainforest speaking of fairy-like creatures. But I'm from Sumeru City, and have never heard of such things when I was a child. Right, but now you've found them, so... Perhaps this is because I had a very strict upbringing. My parents would seldom allow me to play with other children. I doubt they'd ever believe me if I told them about my little neighbor out here. <laughs> Probably not. And speaking of my little neighbor, I think they can somehow sense when Tainari is coming to visit me. Do they run away, or...? I've noticed on several occasions that as they're playing under the trees, they'll suddenly tense up and scamper away for no apparent reason. Uh. Shortly after they do this, Tainari always shows up here. I wonder if Tainari would be able to see them. Hmm, perhaps I should ask Tainari about this the next time I see him. Not a bad idea. Heading out, I see? If yeah. there's anything else you'd ever like to ask about, take care. Do you remember too. to come visit any time you're in the area. I would be happy to chat with you. Of course. Well, 
This is probably a good place to end it for now. Next time, I'll head back to Gondaraville. Hopefully find Kale doing well. And, well, continue on with investigating what the hell is the sickness pervading, invading Sumeru.